thousand miles per hour. We deploy the parachute to slow down even further. Once we're below the speed of sound, the heat shield separates and the spacecraft looks for the ground with the landing radar. Once we reach at an altitude of about one mile, the spacecraft drops out of the back shell at about 200 miles an hour. It then fires up the landing engines to slow it down even further. Once we've descended to about 60 feet above the ground and are going only about two miles per hour, the rover separates from the descent stage. As the rover is lowered, the wheels deploy in preparation for landing. I do think that we can actually establish a human base on Mars growing into a colony for, in fact, a small fraction of NASA's current budget. We can learn how to grow crops on Mars using Martian water and Martian CO2 and Martian sunlight and Martian soil. We can learn how to make bricks and how to ceramics, make metals, wires, tubes, habitation structures, plastics. In this way, you build on the settlement little by little. With the space station, we've certainly shown that we can do construction in space, but it's still something very we'll difficult. We'll need to create a whole ecosystem on Mars, and there will be a whole variety of plants and animals that will be needed from the highest to the lowest to construct a self-sustaining and expanding and evolving ecosystem on Mars. And, in fact, Mars will never be exactly like the Earth. For example, Mars will always have one-third gravity. So plants and animals will evolve in new ways on Mars. We will get new species of plants and animals evolving on Mars. We'll get new species of humans evolving on Mars and on other worlds that we go to as we move out.